Hello, 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 hello. This is a great morning God has made and given unto us. I want us to pray for in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray this morning for everyone who is listening to me. Lord, use us today. Lord, start this day with us as we continue receiving from you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. My friend, I want to speak about the calling. Do you respect your calling? Do you know who you are? Do you understand the capacity of anointing how God has anointed you? Do you consider yourself worthy of God? Then this, there is this one important thing. I want to express to every listener who is listening to me and who is hearing me and who is watching me also. Your calling is a special calling. Your calling is from God, not your calling from Carl or from someone else. Therefore, if you respect your calling, no single day you will focus on someone else's calling will criticize so and so about the calling God has called him. Praise the name of Jesus. I've seen many people going overboard and criticizing the calling of so and so and starting pointing finger on their calling. When you're called as a servant of God, when you're called as someone who knows God, you are called alone and you will answer it alone. Praise the name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 7. I want us to go there. First Corinthians chapter 7. Listen very carefully here. First Corinthians chapter 7 verses 20 says, Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Abide to your calling. Stick to the calling God has called you. Do what God has assigned you to do. The time comes where you not get that strength of doing what God has assigned you to do. But you have the time right now. When you have the time, use it well. Abide with the calling God has called you. My friend, as you go to work, listen to this. Abide to your calling. Stick to your pace. Walk your pace. Stop following following people. Some of some of the people are just here in Facebook. Are just here in Instagram. Are just here in in in, in Twitter. Following others. Nothing they'll say about you, but they follow you. They have nothing to do about themselves. But to follow you, to look for mistakes. Therefore, they go and either talk about them outside there. Let me tell you, that's not your calling. That's your, that is the demonic calling you're doing it. That's not God's calling. Stick to your page. Stick to your page. Stick to your page. Unless you are following someone, follow him. Congratulate him. Right there, God bless you. Then God will also bless you. But people, some people, will never even comment on your post. But they'll comment when you do something wrong. I've seen that. Abide to your calling. Stick to your page. Stick to your pace. My friend, it's high time you know your calling. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for every believer, believers who have listened to me. Lord, let them remain to their pace. Help them. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. You are there, you're not born again. This is the moment you can receive Christ. Repeat this word behind me and God will forgive you. Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. I've sinned against you. Lord, forgive me.
Today turn my name to a beautiful name. Today write my name to the name of your own. Write my name to your book. Remove my name to the book of darkness. Jehovah, I thank you for making it to me. Lord, I thank you because of what you have done in my life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Friend, walk with God. Stick to God. Stick to your page as you serve God. Remember that your calling is special. Walk knowing that God alone he has given you that calling. Work it out. Stop murmuring. Stop talking about people. Stop speculating about people's calling. Stop speculating. You're not God. You're just a human with your calling. You are called to save. You are called to preach the word of God. Preach it. If you are a preacher, preach it. Stop speculating. Stop. Stop it. Shalom, shalom, peace of God be with you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.